On this edition of Sports Center, we've got Jake hitting a milestone in New Rockford and then hitting everything in Grand Forks. Followed by a blowout win against Benson County in the district. And finally, we'll cover the District 8 Championship game, which also turned into a blowout for the Bearcats, as Jake Hagler had another phenomenal game. The seniors pick up some hardware. And the coach does too. It's all coming up on Sports Center right now. Hello, and welcome to another edition of Sports Center. I'm your host, Travis Blake, along with Hayden Larson. The boys' basketball season is coming to a close. The final week of the regular season saw the Bearcats defeat the New Rockford Cheyenne Rockets by 13, as Jake Hagler went over the 1,500 point mark. That was followed by a tough game against the Lax Burlington that we won by just six points. That brought us to the final game of the regular season. It was against the East Grand Forks Wave and is definitely a game to remember for Jake. No one sees the court better on a fast break than Jake. Watch Brooks as he pulls away from his defender to get the pass from Jake for the layup. Jake gets a pass from Alex and gets off a quick three-pointer that rattles in. Brooks was the only one helping Jake with the scoring in the first half. Here's one of his four long-range buckets. After East Grand cut the second half lead down to six, Jake took over. He hit his share of jumpers, but he also made some driving layups, which brought him to the line for 11 free throws. He made all 11. The wave was still within striking distance with eight minutes to go. Then Alex got into the act with these back-to-back -back three pointers. He ended up with 14 points. This was a record shattering night for Jake. His 49 points were 12 better than his next best game. And as far as anyone is aware, that's an all time can do North Star record. He was 18 of 24 from the field to go along with his perfect night at the line. That was an awesome performance by Jake Hagler. The Bearcats had a week off before the District 8 tournament in Langdon. They had a first round bye, and then they went up against the Benson County Wildcats. After a slow start, the Bearcats had it put away by halftime. Brooks had a torrid first half, hitting six shots from the field. These two shots came back to back. Now, just sit back and watch some aggressive defense and fast breaks that got the Bearcats going in the second quarter. Daniel gets the first three steals in this sequence, and Jake gets the last one. But in the first three cases, it was the great passing that led up to the layups by Alex, Brooks, and Daniel. North Star used plays like this to outscore Benson 29 to 10 in the quarter. In all, they had 16 steals for the game, which is three more than they averaged for the season. Daniel and Jake were a combined 8 out of 12 from beyond the arc. That's Daniel on the first shot and Jake on the second. The final score ended 83 to 35. Hagler had 32 and Granny had 21. And note that Jake had 7 steals and 7 assists. That brings us to the district championship game against the St. John Woodchucks. The Woodchucks had given us a scare in the regular season, so the Bearcats didn't want to be complacent in the rematch. Jake got the scoring off with four early free throws. Then it was Brooks' turn with this jumper. Jake passes from baseline to baseline as Alex has to hang in midair before flipping it in. Colton had a great floor game, including eight rebounds and this steal that he converted for two. When will the defense learn? You have to pick Jake up sooner than this. Josh is the garbage man on this play as he grabs a loose ball and banks it in. The shot clock was winding down on this play as Jake hits Daniel in the corner for the three. Again, the defense sits back on Jake. His release is too quick to close the gap in time to prevent another three. And for good measure, let's show another three by junior Daniel Grandy, who is now just 10 points shy of 1,000. Jake's 38 points brings his total for the last six games to 219, an average of over 36 points per game. Jake, Daniel, and Josh were named the All-District Team, and Mr. Hagler was named District 8 Coach of the Year for the fourth straight year. And now Travis has a couple special guests. Thanks, Hayden. We've got Jake and Daniel here on location after practice. Hey, guys. Travis. Hi. All right, Jake, first question's for you. Now, what was more fun, getting your 1,500 point in New Rockford or scoring 49 points against East Grand? Well, Travis, they're both memorable moments in my career. But the main thing is that the, Bear the Bearcats got two more victories. All right, fair enough. Now, Daniel, for you, this is your fourth straight district title. Now, how would you compare this year's team to the last three? I think this year's team is a bit smaller than in years past, but they're all very comparable. All right, now for both of you, what are your guys' expectations for this year's regional tournament? Um, I think that if we can put three good games together, we should do pretty well. 
You know, Trav, it's a very competitive region, but if we're fortunate enough to make it to the state tournament, it'd be an honor for any Class B player. You know what would be the best part about going to state? What? Instead of being interviewed by Travis Blake, we'd be interviewed by Stephanie Getz. That'd be awesome. Your words are hurtful, Dan. Oh, okay. I'm turning your mic off and you will not see me at the next pep rally. Whoa. Well, I guess that's going to be it for this edition of Sports Center. Check back at the end of March when we'll have a wrap up for the boys and girls seasons. On behalf of Travis Blake, I'm Hayden Larson, and have a nice day.